hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful ruffle mesh halter dress i think it's a mesh dress but in the halter version this just can be a very good combination with our previous video of the ruffle granny stitch bucket hat tutorial we already have a tutorial for this hat and if you would like to give it a try and match it with this dress you can check all the links in the description box below i'll be leaving the details to the to the design and for the materials you'll need a five millimeter crochet hook a measuring tape to take our measurements the first measurement that we shall be taking is the hip measurement and then the waistline measurement and then you also need a pair of scissors and yarn and then a darning needle of course to weave in the ends so the yarn that i'll be using today is robin it's 100 percent acrylic and i'll be using a double strand and uh, the amount of yarn that you'll need for this project is since i'm uh i am using two strands of yarn i used about 1800 so approximately 2000 yards of yarn to make the whole dress but if you are using let me say a dk weight yarn and you're using one strand of yarn then you just need approximately 1000 yards of yarn to make the full dress so let's get started all right as i had mentioned earlier on i'll be considering a hip measurement of 46 inches and a waist measurement of 30 inches because those are the measurements for my client that i am making this just for so get your measurements and note them down and when i mention those figures make sure you apply your corresponding measurements into those figures so that you get a well-fitted dress all right so you're going to grab your yarn and your hook and you're going to start off with a slip knot And you're going to make a chain that's an even multiple so an even number of chains one two three four five and this chain should be stretching to your hip measurement so you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted make sure the braided part is on the upper side at all times and we are going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain so insert your hook into the first chain and pull through all that's a slip stitch and this will create a circular loop as you can see here so we're going to start off with our very first round of mesh and you're going to start off with a chain of four that chain of four counts as a double crochet chain one skip one chain skip the next chain and then one double crochet into the next chain one skip one chain and one double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat that all the way around This is going to create the mesh pattern. All right, so we're almost coming to the end of the round and I am still creating the mesh pattern. 
and you're going to do that until you have only one chain left on your round so I have this one chain left before the end of the round I will make a chain of one and skip that chain and then slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round so we have a chain four here you're going to count from the base one two and three and into that third chain you're going to insert your hook and pull through all and that's how we end our round so from here you're going to make a chain of four turn your work so that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round and then you're going to skip over the next chain space and then go into the double crochet with one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet so we are not working anything into the chain one space we are going into the stitches from the previous round and we are placing one double crochet in each double crochet and separating each double crochet with a chain one space so chain one one double crochet into the next chain one one double crochet into the next and then go all the way around until you're almost at the end of the round and i'll show you what to do when you get here all right so we are coming to the end of round two and you'll place the you'll do the mesh pattern until you have only one chain space left which is this one and you're going to make a chain of one and slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round counting from the base so this is what you're going to have round three is basically going to be the same as round two so you're going to make a chain of four turn your work and then you're going to go into the next double crochet with a double crochet so we are going to repeat this around and around and i'll let you know how many rounds that i'll do before going on to the next step which is the waistband All right, so I did, I ended up doing a total of 33 rows and this is what we have for the skirt part of the, uh, of the dress. And now we're going to count a total of 30 inches. So the 30 inches is our waist measurement. So get your waist measurement and we're going to do something else because now we're going to stop working in rounds and we're going to start working rows. So from here, you're going to just chain one, cut your yarn, after getting the length of the skirt you need. Chain one and cut your yarn. And now uh, we need a total of 30 inches when stretched. And what we can do here is get your measuring tape and we're going to do some calculations because um, if, if you count the number of boxes that we have around the skirt, for me, that will be 72, 72 boxes. So 72 boxes is equal to um, the measurement of the hip, which was 46 inches that's what i considered to be the circumference of the hip then x boxes is equal to 30 inches that we are trying to achieve for the waist so 72 times 30 is equal to 46 i'm sorry if this is too much math but we have to calculate the number of um so this is 72 times 30 is 2160 divided by 46. Forty-six point nine, and we shall round it off to 47. 
so we have to get 47 boxes and since this is the back panel this is the back panel all right so put the back panel at the back and then the front panel here and then you're going to mark the exact middle we're going to just eyeball and do rough estimates okay so let's say this is the 47th box and so uh 47 minus one will be 46. so since i have an odd number i'm going to put my hook here in the exact middle and then subtract one to get an even number and then divide this by two and get 23 inches so those are the sorry 23 boxes those are the number of boxes that we are going to count on each side of the hook so get two stitch markers let's get two stitch markers and count off um 23 boxes outwards on each end so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And then you're going to place your stitch marker there. And then count off 23 boxes on this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 all right now we're going to start working in rows working back and forth back and forth until uh we get a total of five inches for our torso so if you want this length this middle length to be longer you can maybe add an inch or uh subtract by an inch depending on the height of the person so you're going to grab your yarn And you're going to make a slip knot and then attach in this space. Make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round. So just attach your hook here in the stitch after the stitch marker. So the stitch marker is here. This was the 23rd box. So at this point, you can remove the stitch marker and put it aside. And then make a chain of four one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next so you're going to repeat this all the way across all right so we're almost coming to the second stitch marker and i'll chain one skip over that space with a stitch marker and place a double crochet into the next stitch then you can remove the stitch marker at this point so this is what we have we are going to work back and forth until we have a total of five inches so for this particular design i have um i just want to measure It's about three rows that make two inches so basically we are going to do a total of seven to eight rows to make a total of five inches so from here you're going to make a chain of four turn your work and then double crochet into the next double crochet chain one the chain four at the beginning of the row counts as a double crochet chain one so not that so that's all that we are going to do work back and forth back and forth when you come to the end of the row you place a double crochet in the third chain on the edge skipping one chain here 
so just walk back and forth and you can see the back of the dress is open so we have this distance from here all the way to here that's not worked and that one we shall get back to it later on all right so i ended up doing a total of eight rows as you can see one two three four five six seven and eight actually they're nine nine rows in order to get my five inches for this upper extension from the skirt and this is what we have and when we turn our work onto the back side this is what we have now you're going to measure the length of your dress because at this point we are going to start shaping the halter design on the upper part of the dress but then um for me my intended height is 30 to 32 inches so i'll consider 30 and then the two inches will be for the ruffles at the base so you're going to measure the height of your dress mine is 22 inches all together and when you subtract minus 30 30 minus 22 is 8 inches so we're going to start shaping the halter version of the dress and get the remaining length so from here you're going to get a stitch marker and mark this row where you are right now that will be the row the last row of the waistband the waist area the torso area now from here we're going to start making the halter top version so from your last row you are going to make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet actually no you're going to make a chain of three which counts as a double crochet turn your work and you're going to skip the next double crochet here and go into the next with one double crochet and then chain one one double crochet into the next and continue creating the mesh pattern all the way across until you have two spaces left on your row so we have two spaces left this one and this one and you're going to prepare for a double crochet by yarning over and you're going to go into the third chain of the first chain four on the edge with the double crochet so you just skip over this space and then go into the edge stitch okay so remember where we placed our stitch marker i went ahead to repeat the same exact row again and again to create that halter shape and i'll show you one last time because i lost the footage of how to explain this row and i'm going to be explaining it on my very last row as i had mentioned earlier i was supposed to do a total of eight inches to get the length the total length of the dress that i want and from the stitch marker level up to up here i have a total of seven inches so i'll do one more row to get to almost eight inches so this is the row that you would have repeated right from here all the way up to create that halter version of the dress so make a chain of three turn your work skip over two spaces one two and then into the next double crochet so you can see we are skipping only two spaces then double crochet into the next stitch and go all the way across placing uh, continuing the mesh pattern until you have a total of two spaces left on your row and at this point your dress or your the topmost measurement of the halter version of the dress uh, the length across the topmost uh, length of the dress should be decreasing as we create the halter version of the dress all right so we have 
two spaces left at this point so when you have two spaces left you're going to just prepare for a double crochet without chaining one and you're going to go into the top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row and place a double crochet there that's how you end your row and this is the row that i repeated all the way from this point where the stitch marker is all the way up so once you get to this point we are going to do one more thing uh this is something that my client requested for she wants something that goes like this she doesn't want a flat edge so i will do one more thing so i will do a total of five chains chain five and then chain one more which is a total of six chains turn your work and after your chain of six prepare for a treble crochet by yarning over twice go into the next double crochet with a treble crochet like that and then you're going to make a chain of one yarn over twice treble crochet into the next double crochet just like this and then you're going to make a chain of one double crochet into the next double crochet and then for the next stitches we are just going to continue with the mesh pattern placing chain one double crochet into the next so you're going to repeat this until you have a total of three spaces left on your row so chain one double crochet chain one double crochet so when you have your three spaces left let me see i have one two three actually this is the fourth all right so right now i have a total of three spaces left your chain one treble crochet into the next stitch chain one chain two treble crochet into the next stitch chain one and treble crochet into the top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row and this is what you're going to have something like this so we're going to repeat this one more time so make your chain of six turn your work treble crochet into the treble crochet from the previous row chain one treble crochet into the treble crochet from the previous row chain one and then you go back to double crochets so double crochet chain one double crochet into the next stitch chain one and repeat this all the way across until you have a total of three spaces left you notice for the final rows we haven't made any decreases so when you have three spaces it's time for us to do a chain of one triple crochet into the next stitch chain one treble crochet into the next stitch chain one skip over one chain from the chain six and then treble crochet into the next chain and that is it um this is what we have for our final round for, for our final row this is what we are going to get you can see we are not getting a very flat edge when it comes to the sides of the dress and once we put the straps they will be pulled like this and it will create a u shape so now we're going on to the next step which is creating the borderline as well as the straps of the dress all right guys so we are going to first make the boundary around the upper opening of the dress and then later on we shall work on the straps that's what I've decided to do. So you're going to make a chain of one and into the treble crochet space. 
you're going to place a total of four single crochets and after this you're going to place four single crochets into the next treble crochet space once you're done with this you're now going to go onto the double crochet spaces and you're only going to place two single crochets and make sure your stitches are not very tight at this point so that we can still leave some room for stretch on the side of the dress and our dress doesn't scrunch up So for all the double crochet spaces, you're only placing two single crochets in each and every row. Then another thing that I want to point out is don't remove the stitch markers that mark the beginning of the halter shaping of the dress. So I'm going to place my single crochets into this space, but I'm going to leave the stitch marker here because I need that space. I need that point. I need to mark that point. So continue all the way down, placing two single crochets on the side of the double crochet row. So this is what you'll have. We're just trying to clean up the edges of our dress. Then now we're going to go onto this side where we have the chain one spaces. So into each chain one space, you're going to place two single crochets and that's it. You're not going to go into the double crochet stitches. So into each chain one space, just place two single crochets all the way across. All right, so when you make it all the way across this opening, you're now going to turn your work and then go back to two single crochets into the double crochet space into each double crochet space okay when you get to this point with a stitch marker on the opposite side still don't remove it just leave it there and then you go all the way up So go all the way up until you get to the treble crochet spaces, the last two rows of the dress. So when you get to the last two rows of the dress, remember the treble crochet row gets a total of four single crochets and then four single crochets into the very last row two three and four so what we are going to do right now is we are going to make a chain of three and then into the same space you're going to place two single crochets one and two this chain of three is helping us create the loop where we're going to attach our strap and then you're going to go all the way across placing Two single crochets in each and every chain one space so go all the way across placing two single crochets in every chain one space All right, so I'm placing two single crochets into the very last space that also has the four single crochets on this side. And then I'm going to make a chain of three, just like we did here to create this little loop. Make a chain of three and slip stitch into the very first single crochet of the round because this has been a complete round around the upper opening of the dress. You're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn. 
and that marks the end of the edging the upper edging of our dress so we're going to do something else we're going to create our straps for the dress and for the straps i think i'm going to use two strands of the strap of the of the thread in order to get something a little bit thicker actually i'm going to use four strands of the thread So I'm just going to pull enough so that I fold it into half. So as you can see here, I'm having two on this side and two on this side. So I'm going to just attach into this loop that we created. And then I'm going to make a single crochet into the loop. And we're going to start creating our strap. So just make a normal chain. Why I have made so many straps, for example, like um, four strands of the yarn is to get a thicker strap so that this is a sturdy strap for my client. So I've done a total of 150. I don't know if I should increase but the fact that this is already at the top of our collarbone i think 150 should be fine so after this you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn and just repeat the same exact process for the opposite side all right guys so we are done with both the straps and you can see how thick they are they're not very small straps so from here you can cut off the excess yarn of the straps. And then we are going to turn our work to the back side where we have the back opening. So the behind of the dress, that's where we are right now. We're going to start lacing up our dress. Just like you see here, we're going to create an X like this. And we are going to go into the very first row the row that has the stitch marker where we started creating the halter shape that's the row that you want to lace up first and then you're going to skip over three spaces and lace up the next so the fact that we measured this to be our waist measurement this piece is going to actually meet at the waist something like this because this is our 30 inches which was our waist measurement for the client so continue to skip three spaces and then let's up the next just like that and don't be scared to pull this because at the end of the day when she laces up each and everything this is going to come in and that's how we are going to get that snatched look. Then from here, you can remove the stitch markers. We no longer need them. Then when it comes to this lower part, we are now going to uh, count the number of spaces that we have here in between the two posts. Count the number of spaces. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So the exact middle is the 16th because we have 32 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the 16th space, the exact middle of the dress at the back. This should be the exact middle as you can see. We have um, 32 spaces, so the 16th should be the exact middle. Or actually it's supposed to be the double crochet after the 16th space. That's the exact middle. Now we're going to lace up this 
you're going to just skip one space in and out one space skip go in skip one space come out skip one space go in skip one space come out so i hope you're seeing what i'm doing skip the next space and go in and then skip the next space and come out until you're almost at the level where we are close to the stitch marker then do the same thing here on this side Or right, skip one space and then you go in and skip one space and come out that's what we are doing for the straps at the back and this is what we have now at this point the stitch marker is also useless and we can hold and gather this part like this and you can see how neat this looks we have a space in between don't close it up totally like this so the moment you gather that back side of the dress you're going to just tie a knot at this point just tie your knot and now we are done with the upper shaping of the dress we shall come back to just weaving all the tails so we're going on to the bottom side of the dress where we're going to create the little ruffle we're going to grab your hook and your yarn and turn your work onto the wrong side the back side of the dress and you're going to attach your yarn where we have the tail uh, where we started the dress from from the be very beginning now i'm going to just make a knot there and cut my yarn when you're done with this you're going to go into each chain one space with that stitch actually i'm going to do double crochets so make a chain of three and one double crochet sorry two double crochets in each and every chain one space so what we are going to do for the very first space the chain three counts as a double crochet so just place two double crochets in each and every space around this is going to be the best round of the ruffle and then the next round will create the ruffle the actual ruffle so just go into each and every space don't worry about the stitches just go into each and every space with two double crochets so we've made it all the way around placing two double crochets in each and every chain space and this is what you should have now we're going on to our very final round once you get done with this you're going to slip stitch into the top chain of the first chain three of the round to wind up that first round and now the final round is going to be creating the ruffles so you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to place two more double crochets into the same exact stitch the first stitch so what we are trying to do is to create three stitches into each and every stitch so go into the next stitch with three double crochets and repeat that all the way around three double crochets in each and every double crochet so i'm going to do this for a while and then i'll be showing you how the ruffle effect is going to come out three double crochets in each and every stitch so after a few um stitches you're going to see something that looks like this and you're going to just keep repeating around and around until the ruffle is continuous around the base of the dress so let me go ahead and i'll meet you back at this point to show you the final look of the ruffle at the base of my dress